Hey guys, welcome back to Once Upon DIY. Today I'm showing you how to make a crane chain. On Instagram, I post sneak peeks so you can see um, where I'm going to post every Sunday. Um, also, check out the quick draws on there. Um, but if you have not already, go check out my other origami videos, specifically the crane one, where I show you how to make a paper crane because you will need to know how to do that in order to do this for you. So let's get on with the first. Okay, so step one is to make all the um, cranes. So I have five pieces of paper here. You can do as many as you want. But you really want at least three, but I think five looks better. Five or more looks the best. So all I'm gonna do is gonna start out just by folding all the cranes. So I'm gonna do that now and let's read the second step. Okay, so I have my five little cranes here, and I also have my twine. You can use string; that works too. Um, I don't, I don't think you should use thread unless you're doing, like, unless it's smaller than this, like that big maybe. But you should probably use string or twine. Twine is thicker. Um, that's why I have this. Um, is to pull the needle through because. Sometimes, since the twine is pretty thick, it can get stuck in between. But I'm just gonna go ahead and thread the needle, and I'll show you what to do next. So I have my needle threaded, um, and I'm just gonna take one of my cranes. Well, actually, first I'm gonna measure it out. Um, yeah, this shit looks about good. I just measure it by like a little bit of about that much in between, and then. Like you kind of go around and you like measure it out, and you can, it's better to have extra string than less string. But I'm gonna go ahead and tie a knot at the bottom. Like this, and you want to tie it a few times just to make sure it doesn't come undone. So, there. Okay, three times, and then I'm gonna pick up one of my cranes. And there, you can see that there's a little hole right here. Can you see that? Okay. Um, and I'm just going to push the needle through the hole. And it'll come out the top like this. And I'm just going to pull it through. Oh, well, this one's going to be difficult. Um, each crane is different. It, it's like people. I, they're none, no two are the same. So once I get it through, like the whole needle through, it's pretty easy. It's just that since the hole is so tiny, if you use bigger paper, it, um, it'll probably be easier. But um, since the hole is so tiny, the needle can get stuck, even though this is a pretty small needle. Um, so that's why I use this tool. Um, but you don't have, you don't really need it. Um, next, I'm just gonna tie a knot here. So, tying a knot just above the crane, and I've noticed that you, um, if you pull this down, like pull, if you hold the little hole and you just pull the thread, you can move it down. Um, so I'm gonna move it a little bit past the like where the top of the wing is, and I'm just gonna pull it tight. Now. 
This is so the crane doesn't sit inside of it like this. It's so it sits on top. And I'm just gonna go ahead and then just gonna go ahead and thread and thread. Can't find the oh this one. Um, thread it through the hole and repeat the process and keep tying knots all the way up and then I'll show you when you want to do next. Okay, so I finished threading it. Um, and you need a loop so you can like hang it on a hook or whatever. So I'm gonna take the needle. No, I don't wanna take the needle off yet. So basically, I'm gonna make the loop. Um, yeah, I'm gonna take it off. Um, I don't need all this extra thread. So I'm gonna kinda fold it in half like this and then tie it. So t you wanna tie it over the loop. So we're tying it around the bottom of the loop. Okay, come on. It's kind of hard with so many pieces of thread because it's folded. And then, okay. So now it's tied and we have a loop here. So you're gonna hang it on a hook or whatever. But there we go. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below if you enjoyed this video. And go follow me on Instagram and you will be able to see some sneak peeks of this video and um, future videos. And all you have to do is search up at once underscore upon DIY and you'll find me on there and you can follow me and see all the sneak peeks and clip drops.